Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mole Hill Mountain, episode 116. Andrew Eisen here, along with E, Zachary Knight. Hello, Zachary. Hello, Andrew. Hello, everybody out there. Hello, viewers. <sighs> so, um, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty darn good. So, um, you know, last week I talked about uh, that crazy Pokemon that uh, Niantic yeah. trolled everybody with. Turns out it's actually a real Pokemon. Yep. They're, uh, they, they, it's like uh, Monday, I think. Yeah, Monday, they released a, a video in which um, Professor Willow, the uh, professor from the Pokemon Go games, uh, had a conference call with uh, Professor Oak from uh, Red and Blue. And, uh, and they talked about it. And, uh, and it turns out that this is a, uh, mythical Pokemon that has only been uh, ref uh, uh, Professor Oak had only ever seen these in ancient uh, texts, and so he didn't realize they still exist. And uh, you know, so they're so now they're on a hunt for finding the real thing, since all the ones in the game turned into dittos. So that was kind of neat. So this is actually going to be that uh, secret, never-before-seen Pokemon that's going to come out with uh, Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee. So, uh, I, I thought its design was kind of lame. It is kind of lame. I I do not like its design. I don't. There's hardly anybody in in the world who likes its des design. But uh, yeah, I mean, after like nine hundred Pokemon, getting. they're just they're like I, I I don't know. It's a ditto with a with a nut for a head. Yeah, Whatever. it's like we need a Pokemon design. Eating my ice cream cone. Ooh, I have the best idea. Let me see what I got in my pocket. Oh, let's have a Pokemon that looks like a Bic pen. Um, no, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. Wads it up and throws it in the garbage. Garbage. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah. does. It does feel like they're just looking around a room and are like a uh, chandelier, whatever. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Some some uh, of the this one are... looks like uh, oh uh, uh, yeah yeah a, a key ring uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Sure, why not? Well, I believe they even have Pokemon now that just look like appliances uh, in your kitchen Post and a Pokemon. toaster, whatever. It's like somebody's kid was watching the Brave Little Toaster. It's like, ooh, look at all those Pokemon. <laughs> I. Uh... Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it, it's not offensively bad. I, I've seen worse Pokemon ideas. But... Oh, there, there are some really terrible po looking Pokemon in the game. But yeah, this <laughs> one for for a, a mythical Pokemon, you'd think they would have gone with a more clever design. You know, something that was a little more visually interesting. You should have seen the design we rejected. <laughs> Yeah, so that that happened this week, and uh, it, people are still talking about it, and it still shows up in the game from time to time. Uh, so it's it's still there. It always it's always turns into a ditto still. Um, but yeah, the uh, the I the speculation is that um, in order to get it in Pokemon Let's Go, you have to do some kind of task or something in Pokemon Go in order to uh, unlock it and let's go. But right. there hasn't been any information oh, specifically released for that. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I wasn't planning on talking about it because I don't... Uh, Lost Dragalia, Dragalia... The, the new Dragalia Nintendo mobile Lost, game. Yeah, Nintendo. Uh, have you tried it yet? I have not downloaded it. Um, Here's I, 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 I saw the trailer and I read a little bit about it yesterday. And I'm just like... I really don't want to get into this game. It just yeah. does not sound fun. <laughs> really, the, the biggest problem I have with it so far is it's on my phone, and I just don't want to play games on my phone. Yeah. I don't want to. Which is, And this feels like a fairly... a, a game that you would want to... I, I mean, it has a lot of, you know, go buy... Wyvern gems from the store for real money to level up your dude faster or yeah. do a random lottery for new characters that you can add into your party. That that kind of 
online mobile crap, but I mean, it's a free to play game. So that's how it's monetized. You know, I'm, I'm fine with that, but it seems to be a, <clears throat> not a, well, I mean, it, each mission is pretty short, so it's something that you yeah. can pick up and play, but it does look like a long linear story, uh, which is interesting. Uh, because that's not what I typically think of as a mobile game, and yeah. that just makes me less likely to want to play. It's like, I don't want to hunch over my phone for hours playing this game. That said, it is pretty well produced, what little I've seen so far, and it has a feature that could possibly be a very common thing in mobile game these days, but I just don't know about, so uh, let, let me know if this is something you've heard of. Uh, the interesting thing this game does is you download it as you go, so when you complete the prologue and uh, the next thing on the list is uh, chapter 1-1 mm -hmm. and you start chapter 1-1, you have to download it, you know, which is huh. a meg and a half or something like that. And then you yeah. beat 1-1 uh, and 1-2 becomes available. And then you download the data for 1-2. Now you can go into settings and just bulk download the entire game. But I thought it was actually kind of interesting that you're not downloading a 2 gig game when you, it, you know, you might play the first couple of chapters and be like, eh, it's not for me. And now you have this humongous yeah. thing. So I think that's kind of an interesting way to do it. You just little small bite-sized downloads as you go. I've I've not heard of that happening. I haven't seen that specifically. That's new to me. But I do know that um like with Fire Emblem Heroes, that that mobile game, mm -hmm. you when you when you initially download it, you just download the tutorial. That's all you download. And then once you beat that, then you download the rest of the game. Um but yeah, I've never seen a game yeah, this that one is chapter by chapter piecemeal like that. That seems kind of yeah. odd. But uh, um, so far as the gameplay goes, uh, you pretty much you poke the screen and pull to get your character to. You kind of drag your character along and then tap to get him to attack. And it's shallow, but it feels good for what it is. <laughs> yeah, and um, the animation, the little TV 3D character models that run around are cute. Um, Hmm. The, the, uh, the, it does that thing that I've seen a, a lot of Japanese RPGs games, like the Tales games come, come yeah. to mind, where the in-game character model is kind of a super deformed chibi character. Mm -hmm. uh, that's redundant, of course, but a, a chibi character. And then the menu and cutscene art are the more adult characters, not yeah. squishied ones. I, I'm like, pick one. <laughs> I actually like the chibi ones because the the adult the the 2D ones yeah. are drawn by people who have never seen breasts before. These characters breasts, the the female characters breasts <laughs> are drawn look like they were drawn by someone who had never seen breasts before but had only ever heard them described. Yeah. And got it kind of wrong. Also <laughs> So, the main <clears throat> female character, Susan, whatever her name is, um, is tagging along with her brother, Larry, whatever his name is, when they meet her doppelganger. Why does she look exactly like me? I'm thinking it's probably you from the future because you two screw up and she's trying to stop you. And if that's the case, she should really just say so instead of wearing a mask and then the mask falls off and, oh my gosh, it's my doppelganger. I'm like, oh my God, this is potentially really stupid and i'm mm -hmm. like okay so we've got our main female character and we've got what's probably her from the future coming back in time to stop her mm -hmm. then you meet um another female character being chased by another female character and they both look exactly like your your female character i'm like oh my god every female character <laughs> in this game so far has exactly the same <laughs> face I mean, the clothing is different, the hairstyle and color is different, the eye color yeah. is different, but the same exact face. I'm like, how come you guys aren't commenting on the fact that these two look exactly like her, too? <laughs> how many times has she come back from the future to stop you? <laughs> Take the hint. Um, but other than that, uh, oh, and the, you, you have a fairy, um, like, you know, Navi yeah. or something, and 
the the art for her is really unfortunate because it the cutscenes are doing the the single two D art panel and they just yeah. kind of bop it along the screen and will blink the eyes. the The little fairy is stuck. And let me see if I can back up enough that you can see is stuck in this position. Every <laughs> single she she's just. She's just like this the entire time. It's so awkward. I'm like, oh my god, why do they do this to you? You poor, poor little fairy. Yeah. But um, some of the dialogue is actually pretty cute. The the uh, the game is well produced. It it runs well, at least on my phone. It's very colorful. Yeah. The the art is pretty pleasing, except for some of the 2D art. <laughs> um, the uh, the dialogue is written is kind of charming in a stupid, goofy way. Yeah, uh, the music is pretty damn good. Um, I, I mean, it, it's very bubblegum pop kind of music a lot of the times, but it, it's fully voiced and it sounds yeah. pretty good. So I'm kind of impressed with the production value. My biggest problem really is I just don't want to play games on my phone. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, and I understand that. That's, uh, you know, that's definitely a, a big concern. And, you know, and I played uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, which uh, um, is, it's another, it's a full-fledged RPG, but it has that uh, gacha mechanic where you, you can uh, unlock characters like you, go and purchase a random character and it gives you a random character from every final fantasy game that ever existed. And, uh, and then just generic characters as well. Um, and the storyline for that was pretty good. And I was enjoying the game for the most part, uh, just playing it free. And, and, uh, and then I lost all of my save progress and stuff. So I just said, screw it. I'm not playing this all the way through again. Oh. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, this uh, Dragalia Lost just, I have not seen anything about it that just really makes me want to play it. I, I don't know why. It I think it's seem... a very well produced version of what it is, but what it <laughs> yeah. is is not appealing to me. I mean, I think I'll put a little bit more time into it just to really get a sense of it. But yeah, yeah it's, it, it's not for me. But, but again, I want to stress, it seems to be a very well-produced version of what it is. And if that's what you're into, great. Uh, Jay, yeah. that's an ex interesting point. I, I want to bring that up when we hit that topic. Um, hello, Matthew. Uh, okay. Glad to see the Valkyria Chronicles. All right. So so I have a, just a, a complaint here real quick. Oh, um, please. Um, I and love this, is just, this is just kind of random, okay? So uh, yesterday... I got a reminder in my Google Play that I have a, a $1 credit and it's expiring soon. And so I'm just like, I don't remember getting a one. I, well, it's just like a gift that I got and I have yeah. to, I have to use it before uh, next Saturday. I'm like, okay, it's $1. What can I get for $1? And I'm like, Oh, Hitman go. I've actually been wanting to play that. It's a dollar. And, um, and so I'm like, okay, so I, I, click on my credit here and I say use now and I type in hit Mongo into the search bar and hit the 99 cent button to purchase it and Google wants me to add a payment option there is no option to use my one dollar credit there's this redeem code here but my one dollar credit is not a code it's a one dollar credit let mm. it won't let me use that. I have to put in some kind of payment information in order to use the free one dollar that they gave me. I'm like, that's stupid and annoying. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Good gravy. Well, uh, I want to make a quick announcement before we uh, start into the topic. All right. And uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about my uh, Extra Life charity event, uh, which is on November 3rd. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Extra Life is a uh, video game charity marathon that runs for 24 hours uh, to raise money for your local uh, Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Mine is the Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego, so that's who I'm playing for and that's who I'm raising money for. Last year, we raised uh, just over $1,200, so this year, going for $1,500. 
And uh, I have most everything planned out and organized and stuff. Uh, you can check out my page at extra-life.org slash participant slash Andrew Eisen. And you'll see a whole list of all the donation incentives and the goals and some other fun stuff. Uh, I just added a new donation incentive slash bidding war. And that is if we reach, if we raise uh, $1,250 for Rady Children's Hospital, I will eat an insect lollipop. Let's, let's see if these look like anything. Yeah, there we go. An insect an lollipop. In insect. Okay, let me hold two in one hand and two in the other. There we go. Ah, God, it's hard to hold. There we are. So I think you can kind of see real them. bugs in them. Yes, th those are real okay, bugs. So I see we got ants. Is that like a centipede? Uh, the, the green one is a worm. Uh, the blue one is, or the purple uh, one is one a cricket. Like a okay. uh, the red one are ants, and the blue one is a scorpion. Interesting. So if we uh, if we raise twelve fifty for uh, for Rady Children's, I will eat one of these during the stream. Which one? Well, when you make a donation, just write scorpion, ants, cricket, or worm, and the insect that raises the most money is the one I will eat. Okay. Are you going to actually eat the bug, too? Yes. If, okay. That, y yes, of, of course. <laughs> Man, what, 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 what kind of ass would I be if, if I just <laughs> ate the candy around the bug? You know, oh, I'm, I'm not going to eat the, eat, the, eat the thing. So, um, yeah. I have so, never seen bug candy like that. Like, yeah, I, I'm familiar I, with the, just, you know, the concept of like chocolate covered ants and things like that. But. That's what I was looking for. Uh, the, the problem, you know, I was looking for like chocolate covered crickets or something like that. The problem with that is they're just, one, they come in a bag and yeah. I don't want to eat, I really don't want to eat an entire bag. Mm -hmm. But, you know, also they don't, a lot of them don't look like much. It just looks kind of like a clump of chocolate, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah, there's a cricket or whatever in it, but it doesn't really look like much. You know, this, you can totally see that there's a, that there's a, a worm in there yeah. or a, uh, or a scorpion. So there it is. Did there the scorpion it is. have the stinger removed? Yeah, you, if you can, if you look on the very bottom, the the, stand, the tail's there, but the stinger has been removed. So I'm not going to get poisoned if that one wins. <laughs> um, but so uh, yeah, so if you make a donation, uh, put ants, scorpion, worm, or cricket in the uh, donation message box, and okay. however much you donate will go towards that particular. Uh, bug uh brian if you're watching just message me at some point because i know you already made a donation before i came up with this thing so just just let me know what you want okay. uh, there's there's a bunch and of bidding you're, wars uh yeah, so, you're also doing your hair color yeah if we hit fifteen hundred dollars i'll dye my hair a funny color um it's red pink blue or green so uh when you make a donation write red pink and this is blue. clown red not not uh not ginger red <laughs> uh yeah let me go grab them real quick yeah yeah i was watching uh andrew uh, had a video the other day i think it was a video or it might have been on facebook or something where he actually showed all these things so yeah yeah so Told the story see. of how he went to the uh the fun little um beauty supply store and yeah this is it colors. It's it's called cherry on top is actually the color, but it's it's red, <laughs> and uh, got uh, a lagoon blue, and um, alpine green, and uh, flamingo pink. So right. so you can so when you make a donation. Tell me what color you would like to dye, like me to dye my hair. Tell me which bug you would like me to eat, and also tell me which direction you would like me to head off the Great Plateau in Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, which is the game I'll be playing for the most part during the marathon. Uh, that will happen probably two hours or so into the marathon, so can't get those donations in. And there's, uh, I have a lot of other neat things going on. So Andrew should go up. 
well, north, south, east, or west. <laughs> no, I mean go up. Just fly straight up. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. So uh, head to extra-life.org slash participant slash Andrew Eisen and make a donation. Uh, whole The whole page is there, uh, all the donation incentives and stuff. Uh, if you donate $50 or more, you can name one of Link's horses. There's a nine character limit. So, yeah, you know, uh, so, so, so can we, can, can, uh, your, uh, your user or your donors, uh, suggest directions that are not straight North, South, East, West, like East by Southeast or South by Southeast or whatever. You can, if you want to be difficult and <laughs> I, I I guess what I would do is one hundred and sixty three degrees. Degree, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I guess if you really want me to go southeast or something like that, I'll just like wait it. I'll just you know kind of wait uh, <laughs> east and south by that much. But I you know it's it's hard to have a bidding war with like three hundred and sixty options. <laughs> you know if you want to yeah. do the full degrees. <laughs> Um, so just just the cardinal directions will 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 get oh, okay. boring. I mean, if ever I think Hyrule Castle is like due north, so if north wins, I'm probably just going to instantly die over and over because Hyrule Field is covered in those damn spider guardian things. So I'm oh, just, okay. so if north wins, I'll go north, but I'm probably going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Go out there and try to beat them with sticks, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's like I will hit you over the head with my Korok leaf. Don't think I won't. <laughs> yeah, you. I think one of my biggest problems with combat in Zelda is there's no dodge roll because I all because oh, when yeah. I when one of those damn guardians chases me and I and I hear its laser charging up, it's D -d 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 I'm like it's gonna fire dodge roll, and I'm like. Link doesn't have a dodge roll, and then I get, and then I explode and die. I, I don't know why I cannot get it into my head that Link does not dodge roll. He he does have evasive maneuvers. He if you lock on, you can hop left, hop right, hop back, and stuff like that. But yeah. he doesn't. It's not Monster Hunter. He doesn't dodge roll. <laughs> and for some reason, that does not stick in my head. So yeah. anyway, once again, extra hyphen extra dash life dot org slash participant slash Andrew Eisen uh, or just go to you know extra life's site and type my name in and you'll find my page so uh, all right go to it goes to a good cause goes to the Rady Children's Hospital all the monies go there tax deductible all monies help the hospitalized kids so it's good stuff good stuff all right so let us begin and we're going to begin with a short story that I didn't tell you about but I just kind of stumbled across later all right um, and that is someone on Twitter who I don't know uh, and is the only person I've ever seen actually mention this, probably because he or she is the only person who's playing Lego Worlds on the Switch. Um, found out <laughs> that um, Lego Worlds free DLC requires a subscription to Nintendo's online service to download. Now, what? Lego Worlds has free DLC and paid DLC. It has a whole suite of DLC. Some you have to pay for. Some of it is free. The free stuff you have to you can't download unless you have a subscription to Nintendo's uh, online service. I haven't seen Nintendo comment on that. I certainly hope that's just an oversight because oh, that sucks. Yeah, that is that is wrong. When did this game come out? Did it just release? Seems to me Lego Worlds has been out for <laughs> Matthew says that's dumb. Yeah, I I maybe it did. Lego Worlds has been around for a while. Maybe like many third-party games that hit Nintendo's console like a year later. Um Yeah, I'm wiki that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Uh, that is weird. It released. Okay, it released September fifth, so it's 2017. It came out last year. So yeah. So I, why uh, is the free free DLC requiring? Probably it, it's. I hope is it requiring a, I hope so. Well, according to this person's tweet, 
they're showing a picture of an arrow code, an error code, uh, 2124-0201, which says, a Nintendo Switch online membership is required. See the blah, 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 blah. And the person says in the tweet, I knew a Nintendo Switch online account would be needed for Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers. I didn't think it would lock Lego World's game DLC behind a paywall. I just wanted to download the new Egyptian bathhouse to write it up for Bricks to Life, uh, which is, uh, I guess, a, a site that this person writes for. Uh, so I'm taking it on faith that Egyptian Bathhouse is a new free DLC for LEGO Worlds. Hey, kudos to whoever's behind that game for continuing to support it a year later. Um, and they and Nintendo turning on the paid service had the hopefully unintended side effect of locking all the free DLC behind the paywall. Because that's crap. Fix okay, it, Nintendo. So I just Nintendo enthusiast uh, is talking about this, and this is a statement from Warner Brothers. It says we understand any un frustration or inconvenience this issue with trying to access this brick build may have caused you after further investigation into this matter it appears due to the recent policy changes per nintendo requiring an online account to access this content is a proper function going forward unfortunately we here at wb games technical support do not have the ability to assist with this issue as it is a policy instilled by nintendo however we can recommend reaching out to their support for any inquiries into this issue and we'll attach a link to get in touch with them again we sincerely apologize that we could not be of more assistance on this matter um nintendo it yeah, that yeah, it's, is it's a sounds, stupid move. If now, that's... I don't trust WB any further than I can throw it in. I can't throw WB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that tells you anything. <laughs> but I'm inclined to believe them in this case that this was just an unintended side effect of Nintendo's online uh, service going, going, yeah. going live. And I would imagine that hopefully Nintendo cares enough to fix this. Uh, because so far as I know... Uh, Switch eShop demos are still downloadable even if you don't have uh, a Nintendo yeah. Online subscription. So free DLC, one would think, uh, is free. Would, uh, is free, right? Yeah. Hopefully that gets fixed. Anyway, um, before we move to the next topic, Matthew says, Andrew, don't know what price you're looking for, but Walmart has near Automata on sale for thirty-four dollars. So close. I'm looking for 30, Matthew. I'm looking for 30. <laughs> but 32 was close enough, and I, I bought it a couple of days ago from Amazon. So uh, I have, okay. uh, I did just purchase uh, Near Automata a couple of days ago. Uh, I think it was 31.54 or some weird price, uh, something like that. Yeah. And I'm like, it's close, close enough. enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it, there was no sales tax or shipping on it, so I'm like, mm, close enough. So, yeah, uh, I got it. I don't know when I'm going to play it, though, man, because I've, I've got a whole <laughs> got shelf full so of unplayed games, games there. Yeah. Um, so, okay, moving on to the next topic. What else we got here? Uh, All let's, right. Um, okay, let's talk about uh, Sony first. Okay. So, in weeks past, we've talked about Sony's dumb crap uh with yeah. <laughs> uh not allowing fortnite uh not allowing cross-platform play right yeah for any um, game right and fortnite was a special case because not only was cross-platform uh play <laughs> hi mad town super <laughs> chat <laughs> i will probably see about 80 cents of that but i love you anyway <laughs> <laughs> um so um <laughs> What were we talking? Oh, so Fortnite. Not only was cross-platform play not enabled, but if you had a Fortnite account uh, with, with Sony, it was locked to the PlayStation. Yeah, you, you couldn't. You, you couldn't. couldn't move you'd it. have to start from scratch on any other console. So it yeah. was double-barreled bull pucky. Um, well, Sony uh, then later uh, commented on the uh, on this thing by saying, "Well, you don't understand." The PlayStation 
is the best. Yeah. <laughs> so you shouldn't want to play anywhere else. You wouldn't want to play with anyone who's having a lesser experience. Which, and it's like, uh, Sony, your your console is missing a feature that every other console has. That by definition makes yours the worst. <laughs> well, uh, on Sony yeah. uh, PlayStation blog earlier this week. Uh, it's said that uh, it's launching a cross-play beta, which uh, should lead to a uh, full cross-play for uh, Fortnite and hopefully other other games later. But yeah. what particularly got my goat, and a lot of things get my goat, my goat gets got a lot, was the way uh, it wrote up this blog post, the, the, the way that it framed this as, oh... Oh, we, we always wanted to give you cross-platform play. We really did, but it was so hard. It was this <laughs> it was this technical hurdle that we've been struggling against for so long. Essentially admitting that Nintendo and Microsoft are just leagues better than Sony at this, yeah. which, which especially well, in Nintendo's case, clearly and it's is not true. especially funny because, um, was it Rocket League, I believe? But uh, one game actually came was released with cross cross platform play, and then Sony freaked out and and forced it down. Like they they shut it down and, mm -hmm. and said, "No, you're not allowed to do this." And and so for for one glorious day, Sony had a uh, cross platform play for for at least one game. So it was technically it was Fortnite, okay. But so it was technically possible all this time Sony just didn't want to flip the switch. Flipping that switch was just too hard to do. And uh, nice jammies. <laughs> yeah, they're they're uh, creeper pajamas. Oh, Minecraft, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, let me just but, read yeah. the first paragraph here because this is funny. It was an accident. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. <laughs> Following a comprehensive evaluation process, Sony has identified a path towards supporting cross platform features for select third party content. We recognize that PS4 players have been eagerly awaiting an update, and we appreciate the community's continued patience as we have navigated through this issue to find a solution. <laughs> I'm going to swear now. Stop bullshitting us, Sony, you disingenuous little turd. Stop that. It's not a good look. Yeah. Bad Sony, bad. See, and... <sighs> And the problem with this statement, too, is that uh, it's for select third-party content, which means that if you're not big enough to to make us move, we're not moving. Yeah. Fortnite's so, big enough. Yeah, Fortnite uh, is big enough. Matthew, Rocket Matthew, League Matthew, might Matthew, be. Rocket League probably might, uh, might convince them to flip the switch, too. Um, flip the switch, close yeah. to speaking. Uh, but I really don't like to, oh, we've just been working so hard on it, trying to make you happy. And we, we've been exam, we've been navigating through the technical hurt. No, you have not. You staunchly <laughs> said no. Yeah, you, you have, said for the past no. two weeks, you have been saying that we don't want to, we're not going to, because we're the best. That's what you've been saying. And now you're just all like, um, we're... We were doing it all the, this this whole time. We were getting ready for this launch, yeah. and the yeah, proper yeah. response is we we're, were sorry. wrong. Yeah, we're sorry. We have we made wrong. it right. <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to do. It's like okay, Macalpa, we yeah. were wrong, and we're making this right. So, uh, yay, gamers, because because hey. Our you know, we pressured him into doing a good thing, I suppose. Yeah, we did. Oh, hopefully, and hopefully, there were no death threats on this one. <laughs> and it can happen, you know, just like uh, just like with uh, the the announcement of the the Xbox One and the PS4, where Microsoft is just like, your games are always online. Your the game you buy is tied to the con first console you play it on. You have to have a, a connect, and it's like, yeah, gamers. Gamers forced Microsoft to change their tune on all three of those issues, and yeah. and uh, and it's 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 
great. We do have power. We just need to apply it properly, mm -hmm. uh, and and things can change. All right, not only with Microsoft with the the original Xbox One stuff, but uh, EA they they came out with SimCity always on. Gamer said <laughs> no, and they said no. Uh, oh, um, oh, guys, City Skylines is eating her lunch. What do we do? Take the always on out of it. It's too late now, but there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I still uh, need to play Skyline. Uh, it looks e good. Uh, EA also with uh, the loot boxes and microtransaction crap in the Star Wars Battlefront. Um, uh, who, who else? Uh, um, Warner Brothers oh, with uh, uh, Shadow Mord Mordor Shadow of War. Uh, same same thing. They took out the loot boxes, rebalanced that. Uh, now Sony with uh, cross platform play and segue into the next topic nintendo was listening to us too so nintendo recently <coughs> released their online service and um one of many criticisms was that cloud saves which are a perk of the paid service and the only way you can back up your save files in right. case your switch breaks right exactly um <coughs> if your subscription laps Nintendo can't guarantee that your uh, gee, that's a nice game save you got there. Be a shame if anything happened to it. <laughs> you know, it was kind of one of those where you know protection racket where Nintendo uh, might delete your game saves if you let your uh, your cloud game saves if you let your um, uh, online subscription lapse. Well, Nintendo quietly updated its website fact. Um, sometime this week uh which said which has the question after my nintendo switch online expire membership expires will my online save data and my nintendo entertainment system and nintendo switch online data be erased the answer if a nintendo switch online membership expires users won't be able to access their save data cloud backups however nintendo will allow users who resubscribe within 180 days to access the previous save da save data cloud backups so you have a 6 month grace period so if you forget or you're out of money or whatever happens you got 6 months to resubscribe before nintendo deletes your cloud saves so that's Man. something that is something, and and I think that's in. I believe that's in line with uh, Sony and Microsoft and their services. Um, but yeah, it was just yeah. It would have been nice if they had come out and said this when they announced it, because that's what people were freaking out. Because Nintendo did not give us any indication of how long these save files were going to be stored on their server after yeah, you stopped you know, paying them. I don't have any evidence one way or the other, but my gut feeling is Nintendo didn't know. It just honestly didn't think about that. Yeah. It was probably one of those um, wherever your cloud saves are saved, when your subscription uh, goes away, we just flag that memory location as writable and when it gets overwritten it gets overwritten so when it's gone it's gone i i get the sense that nintendo didn't know they just didn't have a policy they didn't yeah. think about it and then they're like oh okay I, I i guess yeah we should probably hang on to that a bit because stuff can happen people move or have financial situations change blah 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 so yeah six months six months six months six months okay six months yeah so that that's what it feels like to me is they just honestly had no policy in place and when they first got the question they're like uh i don't know sarah what would happen if someone's subscription <laughs> lapsed <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> and and of course none of this would be that big of a deal it wouldn't have been a big deal um earlier have if there was a way to back up our save files onto the sd card you know nintendo give us that option let us back up our save files onto the sd card and uh, you know if you would let us do that delete our save files willy-nilly on the cloud yeah. you know it doesn't if matter you we're able to back up your save file to an sd card you could <laughs> you 
you could why, cheat. Why, why, why do we not want people to do that? Because they, yeah. they might edit more coins into their Mario save file? Well, yeah, their their justification for this is basically Pokemon. And it, it's just they, they don't want people to back up their save files and then trade off a Pokemon or an item from their their account and then re-download their save file and have that item back. And uh, and it's just like, you know, there's other ways you can handle that, but <laughs> Okay. Item well, duplication is not a Nintendo. Not are are, are, are you selling up. individual Pokemon? No. So anyone who might be interested in getting an extra Pokemon from someone else already paid you sixty dollars for the game, possibly one hundred twenty dollars for both games, right? So who mm -hmm. cares? Yeah, you got your money. I don't see where you're losing anymore. So care yeah. and if the and if the concern is oh well if they edit their save files and then they go playing online they could cheat online got some news for you nintendo people are already cheating online without being able to back up to sd cards yeah fix that by the way yeah <laughs> yeah oh we fixed it we banned the guy who asked us to fix cheating by cheating to ask us to stop cheating <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for pointing out the vulnerability in our system. You're banned. Uh, Madtown uh, says, uh, my favorite E3 moment of all time. What about people who don't have internet access? What would you say to them? Well, fortunately, we have a product for them, too. It's called the Xbox 360. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was a jaw dropper. It's like, oh, my God. How, what is wrong with you? That that was that was right on the same level of well, people will just get a second, second job. job. Yeah, I know. So the, and Microsoft yes, just switched places that, <laughs> from yeah. one generation to the next. It was amazing. <laughs> it was. So, all right, moving on. So apparently, there is a new card game from Valve because nobody's really interested in Half Life Three or anything. Of course but, not. Uh, Half Life new, Three. Nobody wants that. Yeah, new card game called Artifact. Uh, has, hasn't hasn't actually launched yet, but uh, um, it's a Dota 2 digital card collecting game, and it's releasing in November. What is a Dota 2 di digital card collecting game? I don't know. I, I, I don't care. But uh, <laughs> so the official artifact account was showing off some of the cards and art. And it's, you know, it's kind of like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone or, or one of those where you have a card, you've got art on it, it's got a name with a little monster on it, and then you've got a paragraph describing what the card does, right? Okay. So one yeah, of the. Okay, Go ahead. before we get to this, you know, this is a tweet. They're they're just showing off two cards and and talking about how they can play together, mm -hmm. how you can use them together to to do a really cool thing. And that that's one of the the the, the fun things about these collectible card games is getting these cards that work together to do even cooler stuff and and that's what they're showing off here. So let's you can go ahead. Right. Now that's just the context here. So, so one of the cards has a picture of a big blue dog dragon monster dude with a whip, uh, whipping his little smaller blue dog dragon minions in front of him. And the card is called Crack the Whip. And the description reads, modify a black hero with after you play a black card, give this hero and its allied neighbors plus two attack this round. So a few people on, a few dozen people on the Twitter uh, had some polite responses. Uh, the first one being, suggestion. <coughs> you should really change the name of this card. Having a card called Crack the Whip that says it modifies black heroes is... Not a good look, especially out of context. May I suggest something like intense training? <laughs> and uh, it went on, uh, and another person said, uh, the card mechanically is fine, but yeah, the pairing of black with whip can be easily misinterpreted, misinterpreted, misrepresented, and judging the Twitch chat gamer culture will definitely be used inappropriately. Uh, so the artifact team 
uh, the same day came back and said, or I'm sorry, two days later, rather, uh, came back and said, uh, Crack the Whip has been renamed Coordinated Assault. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. And to be clear, <laughs> I don't. I don't imagine for a second that this was anything more than uh, unintentional, uh, unfortunate wording. Yeah, definitely. I, there, there's no way this is uh, intentional. Yeah, but it's just, it's just they, they had a, uh, they had, um, they had a cool idea for a card and and uh, a picture to go with it, and there, so. They just named the card after what was happening in the picture, and uh, yeah. And, and to be clear, yeah. "Crack the Whip"'s a great name. It, it, it's it, it's a it's a great name for a yeah. card. And when they say "Black Heroes," uh, from what I understand, the, the heroes are grouped by color. Yeah, it's and like Magic is, the Gathering. Right, and, right, yeah. right. It's just an un a really unfortunate pairing uh, because of the context of history. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know? um, and I, I, th I do think, however, uh, they could have come up with a better alternative name than coordinated assault. That that to me is a little dry. Yeah, you know? it is. It is. But yeah, you know, there there's probably other things they could have done. Like the intense training um, was a good suggestion. Um, but yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. No. Hey, okay, yeah. Um, but I'm I'm also happy with I, I read uh, quite a bit of that uh, Twitter uh, uh, thread, and they some some people were were a little um, a little churlish, uh, you know. <laughs> Adam, it's like, what are you thinking, dummy? But nothing, n sir. I, I didn't see. I didn't read every single thing, but I, I didn't see anything abusive or you racist ass, why blah, 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 you know, none of that. Just mostly, Ooh, guys, you know, might want to, hmm, might want to rethink that one. Yeah, good card. Mechanically yeah. works fine. I don't think you're, I, I don't think any of you are racist or were saying anything. I, I just think that's an unfortunate oversight. So yeah, you know, might, might want to think that. So again, you know, gamers, you know, yeah, good, and good a lot job of fun. On the, yeah, and a lot of fun uh, reaction gifts. You know? Yeah, there were a lot of reaction <laughs> gifts. A lot of a lot of gifts of people going, <laughs> you know, those kind of. Experiences. Yeah, like, one of them was uh, somebody in the in an audience going, "No, no, no. cut it out." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good stuff, and 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 I'm glad that uh, you know artifact you know, uh, valve is listening. And uh, they're they're listening to their fans. They're getting they're taking that feedback and and taking it seriously because a uh, you know a lot of companies would would uh, you know ignore people when it comes to the use things. Um, they they would post this stuff and and then not paying any attention to the Twitter mm -hmm. responses to it and, well, uh, and and it it takes a measure of mature maturity to look at something you did recognize that you made however unintentional a boo-boo <laughs> and go oh well yeah yeah let's fix there, that there's an oops I'll, I'll fix that because if, if you're not mature you can tend to just dig in your heels and be well that's clearly not what i intended that's not what it means because you see they're th the heroes are sorted by color and it just so it's like yeah dude 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 we Dude, understand that. We no, we, <laughs> we don't think you're a bad racist person. It's just an unfortunate choice of words. Try, yeah, you know, just we all have our blind spots. We all miss stuff. It's okay. Just, just, yeah. just, just be open to criticism. That's all. <laughs> and and they were, and they changed it. And unfortunately, the new name is not quite as catchy as "Crack the Whip," but eh. <clears throat> yeah. So okay, moving on. Are we out of topics? Yeah, we're okay. on our well. We're on our last topic. We're we're on the major topic. Let's yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just get down to it. All right, let's talk about Bowsette. So, uh, <laughs> as many of you know, uh, new Super Mario Brothers U is being ported to the uh, Switch, and there have been uh, some small tweaks in the uh, transition. Uh, one of which is the the original cast, uh, four player game. The original cast was Mario, Luigi, 
generic gold toad and generic blue toad. <laughs> so one of the generic yeah. toads has been replaced with toadette, the yeah. toadette. Uh, and you also get Na Na the Nabbit, Nabbit yeah. as one of the other characters. And I think there's, did they add a new character as well along with this? Or is it just Toadette? Uh, I'm no, I, I think it's just Mario, yeah. Luigi, Toadette, Generic Toad, and Nabbit. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Um, all the characters, if they eat a super mushroom, they become larger versions of themselves. Mario becomes Super Mario, Luigi, Super Luigi, so on and so forth, right? Well, yeah. Toadette... For reasons, um, she doesn't get a super mushroom. She gets a super crown. Uh, let me make sure I have that name right. It is super crown, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Like yeah, super yeah. crown. So she has a super crown, which is a heart w with a crown around it. Yeah. Uh, what happens when Toadette uh, gets the super crown? Well, she doesn't just become a taller, larger version of herself. She becomes Peach. She becomes Peachette. So a version of Peach with Toadette pigtails, essentially. And everyone who's really concerned with the Super Mario lore <laughs> is like, well, <laughs> wait a minute. So does that mean any, Peach is if, a toad? <laughs> yeah, does that mean that Peach is actually a toad who ate or touched a super crown? Well, I guess that kind of makes sense because it is weird that a human-looking character is ruling over a bunch of toad people. So I guess maybe the monarch gets access to the super crown and becomes a peach person, a, a human-esque person. Yeah. And so, of course, other people, dorks like myself, started thinking, well, what happens if Mario touches the super crown? <laughs> Do we get Peachio? <laughs> uh, if if yeah. Luigi touches the crown, do we get Peachy? And then I started thinking about stuff like, what if Yoshi gets it? What <laughs> horror would that happen? And I'm thinking, wait a minute, what if Peach gets the super crown? And someone actually linked me to a piece of art where someone drew this weird eldritch horror of of uh, Peach. <laughs> Oh, you know, just in multiple <laughs> heads and arms. It was so great. Nice, um, nice. But I, another one I came up with is, ooh, Mr. Rossetti from Animal Crossing plus the Super Crown, <laughs> Mr. Peachetti. Damn. Peach running around angrily cursing and waving a pickaxe. Oh, that would be so great. So someone on the internet <clears throat> thought, wait a minute. What if Bowser got his claws on a Super Crown? Well, now we have... Bowsette, which actually doesn't make any sense because Toadette plus Super Crown equals Peachette. So I would imagine yeah. Bowser plus Super Crown would be Peacher. Peacher? <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, yeah. But uh, so now there's a bunch of fan art going around of different interpretations <laughs> of what uh, Bowser would look like if he touched the Super Crown. And, and most of them yeah. are just very busty peach in a black dress and studded collar. Uh, but some of them have a, a very, some of them go, you know, they'll, they'll make her skin darker and leathery. They'll give her fangs for teeth and horns and the flame and red hair and a turtle shell in the back. And uh, I've seen one that looked very Miss Kobayashi's dragon maid or wh whatever the name of that show is with, with the type of tail that she has dragon behind her. <laughs> a lot of cute art that I've seen. Um, yeah. But where the story gets really funny is the um, the official Super Mario Odyssey art book. Uh, has not released yet in North America, but it, it released recently in Japan. And one of the original design... So, some of the uh, design sketches for Super Mario Odyssey that went unused was this idea that Bowser had his own Cappy-type hat uh, so that he could... So, Mario in the game has the Cappy Cap, which he throws at other enemies, which turns the enemy into a Mario version. Essentially just has the Mario hat and a mustache. So you throw the hat on a Goomba, and the Goomba has a Mario mustache and a Mario hat, right? Yeah, well, Mario possesses these things. Right, even. exactly. It's, so a, They didn't a, call it possession, though. What did, no, what did capturing. They... Capturing. capturing not yeah. possessing anybody, I'll thank you very much. <laughs> capturing. But the, the, this concept uh, art shows off that Bowser had his own capture cap, and he hit Peach with it and turned her into essentially 
uh, proto Bowsette. Uh, yeah. So it's really interesting to see concept art from what has to be at least two years, probably like four or five years ago, yeah. of Nintendo actually having the idea of uh, Peach possessed by Bowser and what that character would look like. And it's fairly close to um, to, to, to what the, the, the most common Bowsette characters are, and that's Peach with uh, flaming red hair and sharp teeth and and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really funny to, to see that play out. Yeah, it is. And it, and, and this whole Bowsette thing has been one of those just interesting phenomenon. It just, you know, one person had the idea for a web comic based on this and then just everybody ran with it. It, it became a phenomenon. Now people are demanding Nintendo add a Bowsette into the canon of the Mario universe, and uh... <laughs> and damn it, if we got crossplay in Fortnite, if we if we got a six month yeah. grace period for our cloud saves, we can get Bowsette in the new game. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'd be more interested in in just uh, I Bowsette's fine, but uh, Bowser is not a playable character in that game unless they've ad added him. But no. uh, when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, well, that's interesting. Can can Mario and Luigi and the other Toad and maybe even Nabbit grab a super crown, or is that just a Toadette thing? And yeah. So. No, it, it's apparently just a Toadette thing. From my and, understanding, yeah. yeah but... from, from what, from what uh, has been confirmed, if Mar if any of the other three characters touch the crown, they just get 10 coins. Um, mm. So, okay, here's my idea for the next Mario game. Um, you, you know how in, I, I forget which one it was, but uh, it was, it was uh, Super Mario 3D Land, 3D World. Yeah, the Wii U one, Super Mario 3D World, where yeah. one of the, the ideas of the game is, I, I think Bowser punched Mario so hard he flew across the land and like slammed into the, the, the acorn tree, which, or the, the bell tree, which had the, the cat suits all over the place. That One of the games just, just littered the entire place with the cat suits or the, the, the raccoon tail or something like that. So, so that power-up was just all over the place. And every character you came across seems to have been touching the, 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 super, the super bell, I think it was called. So in Super yeah. Mario 3D Land, 3D World, uh, the Goombas had cat tails. And Bowser ended up with a cat tail at the end of the game. So, so all the characters seem to have touched the damn Super Bell and, and got cat tails and stuff like that, which was adorable as hell and a lot of fun. So for the next game, there's just super crowns everywhere. And every character and enemy has turned into some version of Peach. So the entire game is chock full of different versions of Mario Peach and Luigi Peach and Yoshi Peach and Toad Peach and Bowser Peach and Koopa Peach and Goomba Peach and Boo Peach and just Peaches all over. <laughs> it's going to be great. Yeah. <sighs> Scotty's trying to correct me because I, I started talking about like three different Mario games at the same time before <laughs> finally settling on 3D Land, trying to remember which the hell one I was talking about. 3D World, you mean? The 3D World, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so the one with get... the cats. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and here I am just playing Super Mario Brothers. On my NES. On my NES, yeah. I managed to get to World 8-2. <laughs> oh, nice. No, I I can get to World Eight Two no problem. Eight Two is where I start having the problems. Um, but Eight Three always I I think it's Eight Three yeah. always kind of I found tough because the 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 double Hammer Brothers for me yeah yeah the Hammer really Brothers and Eight Three get to be a challenge but I've never actually made it to Eight Three and and it's mostly just because I don't try very hard. It's like I I've basically memorized. Worlds one 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 two four one and four two, and uh, and that's as far as I ever got to to figuring out the game. And I watched a couple of uh, um, speed runs where you know some guy you know just casually beat the entire game without 
warp pipes in about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like he wasn't trying, he was speed running it, but he wasn't trying for a record or anything. He was just at some kind of uh, event or something and, and just was showing off. And I was just like, man, this, this game can be beat. I just suck. (laughs) Eight four can go jump on a lake though, because I hate that stupid. Oh yeah, that that one. You, yeah, you have to uh, go down the right pipes and stuff. And, and if it doesn't, it reloops. And I hate that. I I think it was a nice quality of life touch in later versions of the game where where they put in a a buzzer or bell if you went you know it goes ding 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 a ding if you go on the right <clears> path or. If you're going the wrong way, yeah, that's nice because when I was six years old or seven years old or whenever I was when I was playing the game, and I first got there, I was terribly confused because that was the first time I had ever come across um, that gimmick in a video game. These days, I, I I would recognize something like that, but that was the first time I had ever come across a a repeating gimmick like that, and I was completely confused. I'm like, I don't get it. It's just repeating is is it broken why is it that doesn't make any sense um i don't remember if eight four is the only i don't think it's the only one in the game that does that i'm I'm sure there's at least one other but uh i don't know i don't i I don't i'm not sure um but yeah matthew uh yeah there was a video of uh somebody who actually uh broke four minutes 55 seconds uh uh, something that uh, a lot of people consider to be impossible without tools, but he managed to get it done because he he managed to get hit those right right <clears throat> jumps uh, and yeah. pixel hits and everything. Yeah, that's that's like pixel perfect playthrough right there. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about uh, attempts like that is, well, it only takes five minutes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So you you can try that a bunch. You just take an hour out of your day, and you can try it a bunch of times. But um, you know something like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for the perfect um, Zelda Skyward Sword uh, speed run, <laughs> which is currently like five hours. You know that's that's got to be demoralizing if, if you're three and a half hours into a run and you screw something up, and you're like, oh, well, that's my afternoon gone. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, and uh, you know, some guy did a has been perfecting his Final Fantasy VII one hundred percent speed run, where he uh, he set a uh, you know this is what I mean by one hundred percent. I have to have I have to have <clears throat> found one of every single item in the game, mastered every single materia, every single limit break, and uh, and uh, a few other things he had had in there but yeah it was uh kind of crazy it took some it takes him like 20 hours and he does it uh, he does it on a regular basis just because he thinks it's fun and i'm just like yeah. okay <laughs> matthew's um needling me about near automata again saying that make sure you put it at the top of your two play queue not at the bottom yeah it's um i fist of the north star that from the yakuza team comes out next week and i'll probably be looking at that next <laughs> Um, but near automata is definitely something I want to, yeah, I need to get, get one of those, um, by the end of this year. Yeah. I need to get me one of those, um, one of those, uh, barrel hoppers that they, they, you know, people put their, uh, you know, when, when they do a uh, random drawing, they put all the tickets oh, or whatever oh, yeah. in there and then they just crank that up. Just, I need to get me one of those and put every single game that I haven't played yet into that and just. And then just crank it, and then there's just a word like pull one out, like tombola or something like. Yeah, that. something like that. And uh, I need to do something like that because I've got tons of games that I need to play, and I want to play them. And I just, I it there, it, yeah. It's just I'm at the point where it's like. I, I get overwhelmed looking at my backlog. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, finishing up uh, uh, Yakuza Two right now. Uh, Kiwami Yakuza. Kiwami 2. Um, I still have. I, I'm. I, I need to go back to Resident Evil Revelations 2 because that one's unfinished. I, I played the first two or three chapters of each character and then stopped. I th- yeah. think because of Yakuza or, or no, maybe it was Dragon Quest 2. 
crap, I'm in the middle of that one. Uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 2. I, I need to finish that too. So I, I've got a couple games that I need to go back to and finish. Yeah. Actually, they're sitting right here. What, what is it? It's a. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil Revelations 2 and Dragon Quest Heroes 2 and Yakuza Kiwami 2. God, I've got a lot of twos sitting here, which are actually <laughs> sitting on top of Sin and Punishment Star Successor, which is technically Sin and Punishment 2. <laughs> so I got a lot of got a lot of twos over here for Yeah. So Okay, well, that is our show for the evening. Uh, thank you everyone for hanging out with yes, us. Yes, thank you. Uh, so let's plug our stuff and leave. Uh, and Matthew says near is short, only 30 ish hours. Uh, that's not short. I'm well, sorry. Uh, you know, compared to, compared to dragon quest and Yakuza and some of the other longer games I've been playing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that actually, that that's, that's going to be a breezy 30 hours. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so Andrew Eisen here, E-I-S-E-N is how you spell the last name, which you'll need to know, so you can type it into YouTube and find my YouTube videos, which have been on the light side of late because busy yeah. uh, working on stuff, which hopefully you'll start seeing in a couple of weeks. Uh, also preparing for the Extra Life charity event, which is on November 3rd. Go to extra-life.org slash participant slash Andrew Eisen, and you'll get to my donation page where you can make a donation, and um, we've got all kinds of fun uh, donation incentives, including uh, I will eat a lollipop with bugs in it if we raise enough money. I will dye my hair uh, one of these funny colors if we raise even more money, and you can vote on what what bug lollipop I eat and what color I dye my hair when you make a donation, which is tax deductible, by the way. Uh, just write which color you like and which uh, which bug you want me to eat, and uh, we'll have a little bidding war. Which Whichever bug wins the most money, it's probably going to be Scorpion, isn't it? <laughs> it, it <laughs> is the one I'll eat. So um, uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Andrew Eisen. Zachary, plug away. All right, you can follow me on Twitter at Easy Night, where I talk about gaming and politics and other things. And you can follow my game development work at DK underscore gaming uh, on Twitter and DivineNightGaming.com. And if you're interested in the Oklahoma game development scene, check out OK Game Devs on Twitter and OKGameDev.com. So if we don't raise $1,250 uh, and, I, and I don't eat a bug lollipop, um, we can try it again next year because these apparently don't expire until January 2020. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll keep them around if, <laughs> if we don't raise it up. So, uh, that's it for us. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you back here next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. All right. See ya.